Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're gonna be talking about our next hurricane in the Atlantic with Invest 98L looks to become Tropical Storm Sam soon and may have impacts to the Caribbean. So if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. Uh, this is September 21st, uh, tropical update. What we're looking at is we've got a lot of storms out there, but a lot of storms aren't really going to be impacting the United States. Here's Peter. It is a small tropical storm that's actually going to be lifting off and, and safely out to sea, as well as Rose up here. It's going to be doing the exact same thing. This is the remnants of Odette out here that tries to make it come back to life. Whether it does or not, it's gonna be have no impact whatsoever to anybody. But here's our concern, which is 98L, and that will be become Sam uh, eventually. And it's got a 90% chance of developing over the coming days. And if this actually develops into Sam, um, it will actually be ahead of the 2005 season now, if it's able to develop by October 1st, which I definitely think it will. So that would put us in a rare category of literally back-to-back, -back very active seasons. So we're already pretty much tied the, the, the 2005 and 2020 with the, the, the most, you know, the closest to the R name storm. Now, if Sam gets named, it's going to put us ahead of the 2005 season. So, yeah, it's definitely active for sure. So let's zoom in and take a look at these features. Right now, a lot of us are taking advantage of that cold front that we've been talking about. It's continuing pushing off into the southeast. There's Peter out here. You can definitely see it doesn't have much of anything. And here's Sam. And this is Invest 98L. So it's basically waiting for this as this trough lifts off to the southeast that's going to help lift uh peter and sam out to sea and as long as this stays weak oh remember a weak storm keeps it more westward and that's what we're seeing it's been an invest for a while now and it's just kind of waiting for peter and sam to, to to more or less get out of there to kind of open the door or you've kind of referred me to clear the runway uh, to allow Sam to kind of sneak in underneath and continue to, uh, westward. And longer the time it, it, it continues to remain a weak storm, it's able to go further west. And then it, it actually more or less buys time to allow these troughs to dig into the U.S. and allow it to possible a ridge to be building back in uh, over the U.S. in, in the uh, longer term. So let me show you this, what I'm looking at here. Here's the here's the setup currently right now between now and going into Friday. We're still going to be taking advantage of those cooler uh, conditions as they continue moving off from west to east and will eventually push off uh, the coast. And as it pushes off, there's Peter that'll lift off Peter out to out to sea. And then as we continue the view, as we go into next Tuesday, you can see that trough still somewhat hanging around, but we have a ridge that's going to be building back into place. And that's going to play a part on the steering currents where, where eventually Sam will end up. So as long as this ridge is kind of building back in, that sets the tone. You have a weakness underneath that will allow Sam to kind of continue to push more of a westward and northwestward trajectory and so a lot of the more got a lot of the guidances has pushed it further and further west so that is the concern uh with sam in the longer term because by the time we get into that friday october 1st time frame of course this will be 10 days from now but man, it really has that developing ridge over Canada. And yeah, there's your ridge over troubled waters and it would be able to be able to sneak Sam underneath. And this, if this were to come to fruition, this would be a powerful hurricane out here uh, by the Caribbean in and around the Puerto Rico area. And that could continue to steer off to the west, northwest, and quite possibly might have impacts along the east coast by the time we get into that first week of October. So there's 
definitely concerned we have to be on the lookout for with sam so let me kind of take you through this and take a look at all the model guidance just between now and the next seven days so all the models have that continuing west northwestward trajectory and as long as sam will invest 98l it will allow to be a weak storm it's going to continue to lay on that more southern track and not be lifted up west northwest so it's as long as it's able to do that it's going to be able to survive the trek and not get be able to get lifted lifted out to sea and that's the trend that we're definitely seeing uh in the extended range but taking a look at the uh overall intensity guidance i don't think there's no question that this will be eventually our next hurricane in the atlantic basin which would be uh, Invest 98L, which will become Tropical Storm Sam, and then eventually Hurricane Sam. You can take a look at the guidance here. A lot of the computer models have it going into a tropical storm probably as early as maybe even tomorrow, if not by the time Thursday rolls around. But actually, by the time we get into the weekend, more than 50% of the models actually have it taken up to a hurricane. And then there's a few of them actually becoming a pretty formidable hurricane, uh, if that. So definitely no question, I think this does uh, become our next hurricane in the Atlantic as we move forward. So let's now let's take a look at the precipital water index and kind of look at where the dry air and more the more moist air comes into play. Here's Friday, uh, fr Friday the 24th. The, all the brown here, that's the depicting of where that cold front these cold fronts come in and going to be pushing off into all the way off into the east coast that's your drier cooler less humid air and out that will push peter off out into sea and this right here would be sam by then probably a tropical storm by the time we get into that friday september 24th time frame so as we move through uh, until the 27th, Monday the 27th, we can definitely see Sam really trying to get its act together out here in the Atlantic. There's the Lesser Antilles, and this would continue moving off to that west, northwest where track. And as we continue the frame, as we get into next Wednesday, this would be the 29th time frame. Yes, we could be looking at a pretty formidable hurricane out here in and around the Lesser Antilles on the Northern Antilles, say around the St. Kitts area. So if you live in those islands, I would definitely be on the lookout for 98L as we get into next week. And if this continues to view, that would put Puerto Rico uh, under the gun in a big way for sure. Because if we continue the view, and if we expand it to the U.S. version, you can definitely see we've got the ridge building over the top. We do have a little bit of a trough digging into the northeast, but that uh, sand might be further west by then. It might not have that much of an influence any longer as it's able to find the weakness on the ridge underneath. And it might be able to sneak in underneath and uh, definitely cause a, a, a concern into Florida and possibly up the east coast as we get into that first week of October. So there's definitely a lot of uncertainty once it gets into this area, but definitely the trend as I'm seeing here, this definitely puts Sam more into play for the Caribbean and possibly the United States later on down the line as we get into that first week of uh, October. But yeah, this, this path would be a formidable storm and if not a powerful hurricane, if this actually would come uh, to fruition, because if we take a look at all the operational models at the latest run, here's the latest European run. This was the most bullish run. That would actually take it down to a 952 hurricane. That would be a pretty powerful, if not a Cat 3 uh, hurricane. The GFS model has a little bit further north. It doesn't have the ridge quite as deep, has more troughing, but still that would be a hurricane at 965 uh, millibars. That would still be a formidable hurricane. And the Canadian, the latest Canadian kind of has it split, split the middle and still has it in around just north of uh, Puerto Rico, but still at 978, that would still be a hurricane. But all these models are more or less kind of trending on for, and a little bit further west trajectory as we get further in time. So there's definitely some cause of concern here that we have to be 
uh, having a lookout for Sam uh, down the line for sure. Now let's take a look at the wind index over the next uh, 10 days. This would be your latest uh, European run. And if this would come to fruition, that would put some very heavy winds, if not hurricane force winds over say, the St. Kitts area by the time we get into you know seven to 10 days from now. And if this still checks the same course, yeah, we could be looking at a powerful hurricane uh, in and around closer to Puerto Rico. So definitely, if you live in those islands or Puerto Rico, even into the Bahamas, going into Florida, even up the East Coast, I would definitely keep my eye on Sam in a big way. And of course, I'll keep you updated with the latest uh, guidance uh, here. Now let's take a look at the vertical velocity index because this is also a concern and kind of shows you that this, this thing has uh, possibilities of still tapping into that upward rising motion air by the time we get into that 26 into that october 1st time frame you've got a lot of greens showing up into that same trajectory where sam is expected to go so that's got a lot of favorability of continuing upward rising motion air that would would continue to hold its intensity and that's why all the models are showing at least a hurricane by the time we get out there it's just where sam was going that's the million dollar question right but at the trend definitely seems to be is a little bit more of a concern now that it taken that little bit more westerly trajectory definitely put the caribbean more into play and possibly parts of the u.s down down the line that first week of october so now let's take a look at the overall ensemble member guidance of the european model and this is all the models this up here that's peter right but underneath that is sam so it's pretty much got all 51 mo members of the european model continuing taking it west northwest rate some stronger than others Yes, the latest operational guidance has it on that southern track and puts it north on the northern islands that are in and around the uh, Puerto Rico area. By the time we get into that October 1st uh, time frame, that would be next uh, Friday. And if we take a look at the GFS model, kind of shows the same thing. That's continues to push further off into the west and northwestward. This one has it a little bit further north, but it also has some instability coming in with homegrown systems. So that's definitely could be out of the, not out of the question. I already showed you the vertical velocity index during that time frame. So we are, we're looking for Sam, but we also, it's not out of the question of some sort of like homegrown type system that might be coming out of the Caribbean here by the time we get in towards that end of the month. So that's definitely something I've got my eye on as well because that could have possibilities as well but yeah if you take a look at the simulated uh infrared satellite uh of the latest uh, european run that would definitely be a powerful dangerous storm if this actually came to fruition so this is definitely causing of concern and this is back-to-back -back runs now this is not just one one particular run and i already showed you the ensemble members of showing this this could definitely be and closer to these lands and, and, and impact uh, in these areas. Here's the wind swath or the rain swath if uh, over the next uh, 10 days. And yes, this would impact the Lesser Antilles, would impact Puerto Rico, bring heavy rain to Jamaica, bring heavy rain to the Cayman Islands, and then eventually possibly heavy rain into the Bahamas and then possibly into uh, Florida up the East Coast. So this is definitely an area of concern going forward over the next uh, seven to 10 days for sure. I'll definitely keep you uh, posted with the latest on Sam. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.